what's going on guys beastly gamer here enjoying my three day weekend memorial day weekend hope you guys are out enjoying your day and enjoying your weekend with your family it's monday yeah it came around too fast we all know how three day weekends are before you know it it's already monday but hey it's a paid vacation it's a paid vacation day it's a holiday paid <clears throat> you get to spend time with your family and uh, who doesn't like to spend time with their family it's always worth it to hang out and kick it with your mom and your dad your brothers and sisters so I hope you guys are all doing that and I hope you're all out there safe you know having a good time it's Memorial Day 2014 and I want to talk to you guys a little bit about what that means what it means to me and what it probably means to a majority of you people out there in the world right now uh, Memorial Day is the day of remembrance for our fallen men and women in the armed services who have uh, given their lives and given their effort for the betterment of American society, for the betterment, the betterment of our people, uh, freedoms, the, the freedoms that we have, freedom isn't free, you know, it costs blood and uh, there are many, many men and women, hundreds of thousands who've died over the years to ensure the freedoms that we have today and I wanted to take this little moment to thank the men and women who are out there serving, the men and women who have served. I've never served, but that doesn't mean I don't understand and appreciate what it takes, the kind of balls it takes to go out there and risk your life every single moment to uh, for someone you don't know, you know, for, for the freedoms of people you've never met, people who you might not even like if you met them in person. And I know it takes uh, it, it takes a real strong mentality to do something like that. And I wanted to uh, express my gratitude for the men and women who've done that. I actually have an uncle, my Uncle Donald, my mom's brother, who uh, he served 22 years in the uh, army. And uh, he's retired, he's living out in Mexico. But as a kid, I didn't understand why. I was like, why would you leave your family? Why would you leave us to go fight a war? I didn't understand it, but he did it. And now, you know, as an adult, I look back and it's, it's a totally different story, a totally different realization uh, that I'm having about my uncle and other people who went out and, and fought for the betterment of our country and uh, I'm not one of the people who says God bless America I think God should bless everybody so I'm not one of those but these men and women who really have gone out there and, and risked their lives and died for us really should be remembered and thanked and so on behalf of myself and on behalf of my wife and Probably a lot of you guys, thank you to all the men and women who are out there serving the country, who've died for the country, for the for the betterment of us, so we could be free, so that we could, you know, not be under a dictatorship, so that we could live a normal life. You know, the the, the way of life here in the West is so different from places, you know, like Iraq or Afghanistan. The the, the freedoms of men and women are just totally different. And uh it, it costs blood and uh I just want to say thank you. I mean, it's not like it is in a video game with you when you're in a real war. Of course, it looks like this. You're running around with your gun. You're scared as hell. Probably going to have a heart attack every five seconds. There's bullets whizzing past your head. But the number one thing that's different is you don't get a respawn. So think about that. You know, uh, it takes a lot to go out there and know that if you get shot, you're probably not coming back. And all it takes is one bullet, one time, and you're dead. And, and that thought alone would detour me from going, but a lot of people, it didn't detour. A lot of people actually went out there and they were okay. Like this guy here, bam, no respawn, bam, no respawn. Think about that. I mean, and that's what happens every single day. There's friendly fire. There's so many things that go on. There's guys hiding in windows in the real world who get shot and they don't get a respawn. There are campers in the real world. Uh, and they, they probably do camp. I would be a camper if I was in the real war. And that's kind of a comedic take on things, but it's really, uh, it's a, a very volatile and very, you know, treacherous, and that shouldn't happen, very, very treacherous terrain being in the war, fighting and risking your life every moment of the day. Every, every time you go to sleep, you wonder if you're going to wake up the next morning. Every time you, you know, you take a step, you're wondering if you're going to step on a landmine and kill yourself, you know, and, and it means a lot, and I just really would like to take this moment once again to thank everybody out there if you've got friends or family who are enlisted in any form of military service it could be army navy marines doesn't even matter it's all the same to me 
They all have one goal in mind, and that's protecting the people of America and bettering this country. Leave a comment, let me know who they are, what they're doing in the world, you know, and, and uh, give me your thoughts on it, you know, because uh, together we are the freedom that these people are fighting for. We really are. And uh, the fact that we can do the kind of things that we do every day, we can go to work and come home and sit and get on the internet and, you know, have freedoms. Things like the internet isn't, isn't a freedom in other countries. Things like this, you know, is not a freedom. So we should really be appreciative of the kind of life that we have and, uh, you know, spend every moment in thank thankfulness of the men and women who've given it to us, you know. And that's why I wanted to make this video of me running around killing people and having fun and yapping, uh, you know, because it does, it does have something in common with, with the war setting. That's what Memorial Day is all about. And it's some serious shit because you do not get a respawn. There is no coming back from this. And it takes balls of steel. I mean, there are men and women out there who've got bigger balls than me because here I am, I'm 34 years old. I would never go. <laughs> you couldn't convince me or pay me. But people go just freely. And I want to thank those men and women because without you guys, we'd be in a lot of trouble. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're all having a ball Memorial Day 2014 with your families. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.